your ears because shit's about to get real. Any hooty? So I got a few comments on my last video. And I want to say a couple things. First off, uh, I never said a name in my video. See, that's the problem nowadays. Too many people assume shit. Never tagged anybody in it. None of that shit. But if the shoe fits, lace that motherfucker up and wear it. It's about time. It's about motherfucking time. Somebody other than me and my my damn family says some shit like this. Lace that motherfucker up and wear it. Do you know how many of those types of videos I am tagged in that are sent to me? That I see? A lot. Uh, but y'all are gonna make fucking assumptions anyway. And I don't give a ball sucking fuck if you do. And to those of you in my comments thinking that I'm talking about a particular person and saying some bullshit. Well, it was posted for educational purposes. Oh, well, she has a condition that it makes it life threatening and very dangerous for her to get pregnant again. Shut the fuck up. If it's life threatening and it's that dangerous for her to have another kid, then get fucking fixed up. Get your tubes tied. Get your fucking uterus barbecued. Get a fucking hysterectomy. Yeetus the uterus. Always got some fucking Yeetus excuse for people doing stupid shit. Not everybody is going to like what you post. Not everybody is going to like the shit you talk about. Ain't that the fucking truth? Especially if it's controversial. If somebody disagrees with something you say or post, they're entitled to their fucking opinion. If you don't want to hear it, or you don't want to read it, then don't fucking post it. A hey, fucking man. I'm glad somebody else says the same damn thing that I would say. It doesn't matter if it's abortion, politically... Uh, hell, it could be fucking dirt track, NASCAR, whatever the fuck it may be. If you don't like what the fuck somebody comments on your goddamn videos, then don't post the motherfucker. End of story. Plain and fucking simple. I said what I said. I commend you for it, too. I really, really do. Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, I got something else I want to say. Actually, about three things. Number one, not all women. So, let's just set that out there. Not all women, but quite a few do this. They spread their fucking legs. Willingly, and then later on, want to get a fucking abortion. Why? Why would you spread your legs willingly just to fucking get an abortion? That's, the, that's not only a waste of your time, but the guy's time as well. Now, there's also the thing called rape. I understand if you want to get an abortion, but still that's killing an innocent life. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk about that for a minute. With the... With being raped and getting an abortion, yes, that is killing an innocent life. That's not letting that human life form having or get the actually get the chance to live that life. That's a problem. Because hell, that unborn child. Could have, li could have lived a wonderful life. Could have. But you decided to end it. All because you were raped. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, rape is fucking horrible. Should never fucking happen. The dudes out there that rape just because they can should have their fucking dick cut off. And I'm pretty sure millions of people will agree with that. Now, when it comes to women like this or men like this that want to do the deed, 
but aren't willing to put in the fucking time and effort to raise that kid. Why? If you're willing to put in the fucking time and effort to create a child, you should be more than willing to raise that child. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yeah. 